Sharad Pawar's nephew and the deputy chief minister of Maharashtra has literally pissed off a lot of people in the state by his completely grossly inappropriate use of language. And there's a strong demand in Maharashtra that he should be sacked for his indiscretions. This is not the way a public functionary should be speaking and definitely not a man who one day hopes to be chief minister of Maharashtra and sees himself as the next gen of politicians in this state. Power drunk Ajit Pawar shows the height of insensitivity. Nawab Malik represents the NCP. We've got Taisin Punal Awala from the Congress, Shaina NC, YP Singh and Ali Padamsi. I want to go across first to Mr. Nawab Malik representing the NCP. Do you not believe, Mr. Nawab Malik, that the manner in which your leader has spoken is highly insensitive? Farmers in Maharashtra at this time want water. He's offering them urine instead. Shouldn't he be ashamed of what he said and done, sir? No, see, this is hundred percent wrong. A village near Baramati in Indapur, where a small gathering of some people, who's brought brought up with the Ajit Pawar, where he was speaking, to a issue. Raised by a local some politician, he has replied to the issue. But in way what he has said in a Gauran language, which is hundred percent cannot be acceptable. We asked him whether you speak in this manner. He said, "I had spoken with the people. I am sitting with them, and I realize it is hundred percent my mistake." And same day on Sunday evening, he. Put out. He make a press note and he said sorry and he apologized and he realized. So shouldn't he, he be mistaken. sacked for using such language? He show seems to show complete insensitivity. There are about eleven thousand villages which are completely parched. There are people who are sitting on a hunger fast. He seems to be mocking all of them. He couldn't care less. It just shows the mental no. makeup of your leader, sir. No, no, no Rahul, Rahul, Rahul. No, Rahul. Rahul, he was not addressing the issue of drought for a Maharashtra people. He was replying a lot. No, I'm sorry. There can be no justification and explanation for behavior such as this. China NC, the NCP leader says. Uh, Ajit Pawar has said sorry. That's where the matter ends. He realized he made the mistake. Why is it that you're demanding that Ajit Pawar step down? First, let me say that I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Nawab Malik's statement because he's the only NCP leader who actually concedes that he said something wrong. Yesterday, debate after debate, whether it was Jitendra Awad or Majid Mehman, they were all kind of defending Ajit Pawar's so-called wit and as if to suggest that this was some kind of a stand-up comedy act. In a state where people are dying, they have a farmer who has. Agitated for 55 days in Solapur, and to kind of suggest that you know what is the option? I have no option. Should I offer my urine? I mean, I think it's the lowest of low in Maharashtra politics. We've had people who've made mistakes of. Being ill-informed, but then you have the arrogant and insensitive, in which category Mr. Ajit Pawar clearly classifies. There are three, four points here. One is that the 77,000 crore irrigation scam. Who is responsible? We all know. He has resigned in the past for it. Has made innumerable comments. And has continued to come back to power. Then you have this kind of arrogant behavior, which is clearly not acceptable in public life. And in a state where your electorate is dying, to get one bucket of water is a Herculean task. People are migrating from districts, and there you have this insensitive commentary. His second comment, Rahul, is even worse, where he says that you know, at times of load shedding, the population increases, people are up to business in the night. You have a A woman, children in the audience, no kind of sensitivity, no kind of shame, and it shows you this kind of mindset, which is the mindset of an arrogant politician. Corruption, arrogance, and no vision for the state. If you are a concerned leader, you would have said that my tears 
uh, the, the kind of tribute that I could give to all these people struggling with doubt, drought. To get into this kind of a satire and to have your psychophants in the background who just keep on lauding you and laughing it off, I think it is the lowest of low that Maharashtra politics has ever seen. Mr. Alec Padamsi, do you think it shows something seriously wrong with the mental thinking of Ajit Pawar when he says that, you know, because there's no electricity, there are more babies being created, uh, what do I do, there's no water, do you want me to urinate into the dams? It just shows something seriously wrong uh, with the way this man thinks, sir. Now, I would say that uh, at, at a man of his position in politics and appearing in public television, he should be aware that people are sensitive. These sort of jokes are often cracked in in, in, a, in, a, in a party where people are half drunk anyway. But when you're a public politician appearing in public, yes, I would say this was a very wrong thing to do and he should apologize and he should make good in some way to people of Maharashtra, particularly those who are suffering in the drought regions and do something to say, I'm sorry I made this remark. It was, it was very uh, uh, insensitive of me. And what's more, I'm now going to double my efforts to see that people do get water. Let's have some action. Apologies are fine, but I'm a great believer in after the apology, what is the action? So if he can offer some action to the drought uh, and well. famine uh, ridden uh, uh, villages of Maharashtra, that would be something. That's what a politician is supposed to do. After all the talk, and I have a simple slogan for all politicians, that is Bhashan Bandh, Kaam shuru. Bhashan band kaam shuru. It's time politicians realize they are executives and they should, instead of giving speeches or even making you know, horrible jokes as he did, no, they should YP, be saying, YP I am saying out to find out A lot why. of people in the NCP yeah. have said it's a joke. He said it in jest. Don't take it seriously. You're crucifying a man for having said something in jest. Do you think no, it, no, it reflects is. a complete lack of remorse and a complete lack of sensitivity for Ajit Pawar to even think this is funny? Sensitivity uh, this can never be a joke. Ajit Pawar is riding over his arrogance of impunity. He got out of the case where he gave land free, of course, to his relative Supriya Sule. Thereafter, big irrigation scam, massive corrupt scandals. He got out of it. He was kicked out and got reinstated once again. This arrogance is speaking and this is not a joke. The, under the law, this is indecent behavior. If you have women and children as audience, along with men. And if you speak such words, it is indecent behavior. It is 110 Bombay Police Act, where lots of young boys and girls are booked for such indecent behavior. I think the right cause is not for him to apologize. The right cause for NCP is to direct the police, which works directly under them, to file a case under Bombay Police Act against Ajit Pawar, 110. And that calls for a fine of 50 rupees. Let him pay a fine of 50 rupees. That is the right course of law. Apology is nowhere mentioned in the realm of law. And when something is not mentioned in the realm of law, police and anybody, nobody we should not demand it because it has got no statutory significance or element of accountability. So I think police under NCP should immediately file a case under indecent behavior against Ajit Pawar. That would Malik, be the right action. YP Singh says this is what indecent behavior is and under the police act, he should be booked, he should be made to pay a fine for 50 rupees for offending sensibilities and acting indecently in public. See, there, people are discussing three, four issues here. China NC said regarding the irrigation scam, so called. So, discuss regarding the issue of load shedding. I want to remind her, their leader, Gopinath Munde, has made this kind of a remark. Three, four times earlier also regarding the birth rate of load shedding. So it, it, it is a said by our leader, it is definitely unfortunate. No, no, this is unfortunate and we never support this kind of an issue. YP Singh is interested taking 50 rupees fine from Ajit Pawar, implementation of a rule despite a apology made by a person he understood that he has mistaken and he apologized to the people of Maharashtra, even the floor of upper house and lower house, it is a bigger than paying 50 rupees fine. 
Taisin Suna Pune Wala is saying sorry I enough. I want to say something, Rahul. Yes, Shaina wants to make a point briefly. before I bring Taisin in. Yes, Shaina, go ahead. Just very briefly, <laughs> uh, Mr. Nawab Malik was in the house today. I was there too. If you saw the kind of apology he gave with his head down, I mean, no kind of remorse, no kind of sensitivity. I think that for the electorate who's watching this kind of public display of arrogance, the right that you have and the power that you have comes only once in five years, which is going to be a sufficient reply. But having said that, until then, the t next 10 weeks in Maharashtra are so crucial. This is the worst kind of drought we have ever seen. And to kind of poke fun at the farmers, the poor farmers who are agitating, I think this is not just crude, it's crass, it's disgusting, but we need to keep this pressure on so that the entire electorate of Maharashtra realize that there is no place for this kind of arrogant leadership. Crude, crass and disgusting isn't apology enough because here's a man who's accused of having spent 70 out thousand crore rupees which yielded a 0.1% increase in the state's Damn infrastructure that. capabilities. That's the background, that's the track record uh, of Ajit Pawar as minister and on top of that he's making fun of the farmers who are fasting for 55 days. You know, politics is all about perception. Politics is all about humility. And it is unfortunate that Ajit Pawar made these comments. But that he made his comments, good sense prevailed and he's apologized. The, the, what's worrying is the standards of politics falling in Maharashtra, whether it is the Thakrays, whether it is Gopinath Munde, whether it is uh, this statement. Politics in general in Maharashtra is deteriorating. You have a very honest chief minister, very hardworking chief minister, trying to break all the nexus. He's trying to break the builder nexus. He's trying to break the nexus where organizations like Purti have benefited because of this irrigation, uh, because of this irrigation. And, uh, and if good sense has prevailed on Ajit Pawar, I mean, uh, and but I disagree with Mr. YP Singh, this won't fall under indecent act. That's on a point of law. I disagree with him. However, Ajit Pawar apologized. You can't break, keep on praising the chief I think minister like that without him. Just one second. I think the people of Maharashtra to decide what they need to do. I mean, standards are clearly falling. Rhetoric has yeah, taken over Maharashtra. Gunda is a mess taken over Maharashtra. No, because it's a completely half-baked apology. Even if you see the manner in which he spoke, Mr. Nawab Malik, it's not, doesn't Rahul, seem sincere in the least. one thing. <coughs> At least and the apology must be heartfelt. Let China Minister. make a point before I come to you, Mr. Rahul, Rahul. Very, sure. very briefly, there are four statements made by Mr. Ajit Pawar, two of which have been projected and shown in the media. And I'd like to say I'm grateful to the media for not editing that. But the two which are not shown cannot even be shown. It would leave everyone faceless. And if you think that after this kind of repartee, one can accept public figures and say, no, no, chalta hai, he's apologized, then let people keep slapping you and keep saying it's all right. You get what you deserve. So this agitation will continue from different sections of society all across the state. Their effigies being burned, the people who are agitating, people who are saying that if you cannot have the basic sensitivity to realize our plight in a drought prone state and to kind of trivialize it to say that should I urinate in the dam and people laughing about it i think really we need a lot of introspection as far as our political mr class. nawab malik you also need to look at ajit pawar's track record given the fact that he spent so many years as irrigation minister oversaw the irrigation scam of maharashtra 70,000 crores spent only a 0.1% enhancement in the state's irrigation capacities given his track record you know he really should be ashamed of the position that he's taken his track record cannot be divorced from this comment Mr. Nawab Malik. See, Mr. Rahul, I want to say always people are saying 70,000 is a crore scam. You listen from the day of establishment of irrigation department, last 60 years 70,000 crore has been spent. Out of that 70,000 crore, the salaries are paid out of that. Land acquisition costs are paid out of that. Dam completed near about 750 works has been completed out of that and you are saying the 7000 crore scam is there something wrong people are making a perception see there is a drought what we achieve from the drought here in Jalna there was a water supply project was prolonging since last 10 years this year in within the drought period it is now completed Usmanabad water supply project it is now completed Sangola, Solapur district, Tehsil was not getting water. They don't have water in their river. This year that project had been completed. Many of the area where drought is there in Buldana, the dam where there is no water, 
we are removing the sludge of the dam to increase the capacity of that dam so there is a drought we are doing the work there is a drought there is no water in the villages we are supplying by the tanker no worker has been no but when he makes a comment you're giving me a long speech People mr nawab malik but when your leader makes a comment like this does it not show he's nothing. completely disconnected from the people yeah. he doesn't feel the pain of the people of maharashtra is, is if mistake. he did he wouldn't make a, a comment like this rahul that is a mistake and we rahul rahul that is a mistake we point, pointed out we said what you had spoken he said it was my mistake i was talking to my people within a limited gathering no so but he said it varun gandhi said realize, the same thing anybody who's caught on mistake. camera then says i, I didn't know it would get telecast why be saying does that does that justify what happened because it was being spoken to a limited group uh, he no. didn't think it See, would come on national tv whether, therefore on, on, he felt he could say whatever he wanted because he was with people no, no, he knew one, well mr yp singh Uh, no no this is a lame excuse because anywhere if any member of the public has got access that becomes a public place and it was a public place any would have body would have got in and heard to his speech mr nawab nawab malik is trying to put up a defense which is completely unsustainable apology is something which is a maybe an alternative remedy but it is not the substitute to a legal action uh, it can be an additional remedy so by saying that apology replaces legal action this again is not proper i think with these the people we should not even ask for an apology we should only take action this is the time shaina mr padam singh otherwise nawab malik said think, he was speaking uh, in a closed gathering the dogs. does that just does that justify in any way what he said does that condone his actions his words no. shaina you first first if, first there were many but there were many people it was a public place under the definition kind of political shaina if he had a vision plan or he had any kind of political will maharashtra would not be in the situation it is we have neighboring states of gujarat which have fought drought by just correct planning why haven't we done that and if you are in a situation such as this where your public of your state is suffering at least have the sensitivity to say what your action plan is what you are planning to do and how you are planning to combat the situation otherwise the next 10 weeks in maharashtra are going to be mayhem and trust me just paying lip service or having these kind of uh, you know trivial arguments whether what he meant to say and what he was trying to say is all futile yes. if he does not have an True. action plan for the next 10 weeks i don't think he deserves to be the deputy chief minister of maharashtra and if he has no sensitivity even more he doesn't deserve and if it is a combination of corruption lack of vision and arrogance clearly it's public who's going to boot him out Mr Nawab yeah. Malik quick final comment Padam Singh wants to make a point first Yeah I want to say, I want to agree again <laughs> once say, again say, very say, say, say unusually Rahul, with, with China, China, with China. doesn't know and we don't like agreeing with China I see Hello there are 11 Hello. villages where the government is supplying tankers what the supply continue supply is there she is asking about the Gujarat I must challenge her you go to Saurashtra you see Even Modi doesn't have any plan to supply water by the It's tanker or any plan. This canal system has been a topic of discussion. Plan. We have over. a plan. We had decided to give water by the tanker supply. The fact that we are having water today sells itself. We have given compensation, compensation to the farmer. We have plan. You you don't decide what the Maharashtra people are going to do. What they whom do they well, want to vote out? To don't decide. Yourself. Okay, I let Mr. Then Alec Padam see have the last word, please, Mr. Padam see. He realized and he made yeah. an apology. Go to Saurashtra and see there is a huge drought and Modi is doing nothing. Mr. Hello. Padam see. I just like to say, Rahul, Rahul, that uh, uh, I know all these debates are wonderful, but again I say, what is the plan? I agree. What is the plan of action? to deal with the drought in maharashtra which is a much bigger point than the point raised by his unfortunate language and his uh, uh, twisted sense of humor is mr ajit pawar going to put a plan of action to deal with the drought in maharashtra immediately within the next week or not that is the question we should be talking about now now i'm going to leave it over there each one of us watching this broadcast must decide where they stand on this there are farmers across maharashtra who have been protesting several of them have threatened uh, they will self immolate they'll commit suicide uh, unless mr ajit pawar 
actually steps aside and gives up his job. Just saying sorry is not enough. The, re the remorse must be heartfelt because if it isn't, it's completely meaningless. For the time being, Asim Punawala, Shaina NC, YP Malik, Nawab Malik uh, for joining us. YP Singh and Nawab Malik for joining us on this program. Thank you very much. <laughs>